Hey there, welcome back to Crypto Clarity. My name is Andrew. If you're here, it's because you're looking for a simple and easy resource to help you learn more about cryptocurrencies. If you're like me, you're seeing this blow up all over the world and you know this is gonna change our lives in the coming years to decades and you wanna learn more about it. But when starting to do the research on your own, it gets very overwhelming very quickly. It's like learning a whole nother language and you want someone just to break down the, the terms and concepts behind them very simply and in layman's terms. So once we kind of have a base knowledge, it's a lot easier to go out and see, you know, what all these other cryptocurrencies are doing and how they're changing the game. But we want to get a baseline knowledge first. So that's what we're here to do is on a daily basis to break down a couple terms or concepts just for a few minutes a day so we can start building that knowledge and be up to speed very, very quickly. So on my previous video, we broke down what is a cryptocurrency. And on this video, we're gonna break down what is a blockchain. And you've probably heard that term, the blockchain, all over the place, but you have no idea what that even means. So in layman's terms, it's a revolutionizing way of storing data. And that's the underlying technology behind Bitcoin. So in my previous video, we talked about how Bitcoin is decentralized versus what we have now centralized. So centralized, for instance, I'm a customer of Chase Bank and we have to go through Chase Bank and they are the ones to update the, the ledger of all the transactions. And we have to trust that Chase Bank is doing the right thing and that they're updating those in real time. With Bitcoin, if you saw my previous video, these are just people in front of their computers all over the world, thousands of these computers working in unison to update the Bitcoin network. And the way that they're recording this is on the blockchain. So if I have a Bitcoin and I wanna send you a Bitcoin, then all these thousands of computers verify that transaction in unison. They make sure it's all good to go. And when that transaction happens, it is recorded on a block. So one of these blocks is just a way to store data. And one of these squiggly lines is, uh, it's a very simplified version of how these computers are doing very complicated math equations to update the that transaction on this block. So this block can only hold so much data. So as the that block fills up, once it fills up, it is added to the other sequence of blocks on the chain, is which is just the public ledger that anyone can go on and see where all these transactions, where and when these transactions took place. So that's all it is. It is just recording these transactions on a block. Since it only can hold so much data, once it fills up, it is added to the overall blockchain. And that is just a public ledger where you can go on and see where all these transactions have happened. So it's really, really neat. On my next video, we are gonna go over how these guys, since they're technically not an employee of Bitcoin, because there's no employees of Bitcoin, how these guys are actually paid and why are they recording all this data. So I'll see you on my next video. Thanks a lot.